God, this is just beautiful. I think so, because math is beautiful. Um, for any function, we want to establish laws that will roll with any function, okay? What we're saying is that if our initial function equals f of x, our after a transformation function, or y prime, will equal, after a stretch, will equal a f of x. Now this is what it's going to look like as far as your points on a graph. Okay? If we had a simple thing like y equals uh, absolute value of x, this is our function of x. Okay? Our y value would equal a times the absolute value of x. Okay? Now on a table of values, this is the beautiful thing. Because that's our secret grade 8 trick. I'll just put all three of them on here to save space. If our x value is 2, for example, let, let's say we're going to do a stretch of, a, of three units. Okay, we're going to, that's going to be there, a 3. Well, if x is, um, I'll pick a point of x being 2. Okay, so y equals 2 here, that's fine. Well, y prime will equal 3 times the absolute value of 2. Because remember, there's, there's no sign in between there, so it's signifying a time sign. Well, 3 times the absolute value is 6. Okay. So let's look here. Uh, y becomes 2. Y prime is 6. Okay. How do we show this in ordered pairs? This is, this is the part that will save you lots of time, which I like to show you. You started with um, our... Um, a regular function would give you a would have given you a pair like this. Okay. However, oops. this is what we have on this one. Now, that remember what we said the f of x here. Y equals f. Y equals f. Okay. Y equals f of x to begin with. That means this equals f of x, which means this equals f of x. Okay. F of x. This is our f of x, which means that right, just like before. But why am I repeating myself when I could just say it's if if f of x is two, why don't we just call it two? Well, we know that already. What's the point? Oh, right. The x, y coordinate, instead of just being 2 and 2 like this, is now the x value is still 2. The y value is what we started with, 2. Two times 3, because this 3 is out front of what the y equals here. Okay? So all we did, short, short version, is um, f of x equals 2. If we have 3 f of x, it simply equals 3 times 2. Okay? Simple as that. Okay? This is probably the wrap-up rule that you want to know. Okay. Uh, hit rewind, hit pause, send me an email if you need clarification, I'll, I'll send tips out.